What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Tyrant Documentaries. And with Halo 4 on the horizon, I thought it'd be fun to go back and revisit some of the achievements from Reach. Of course, it's all campaign. And today, we are going to focus on five achievements. This first one here is called Two Corpses in One Grave, and you get it by killing two Covenant vehicles on the mission ONI Sword Base. Now, it's implied that you should probably use the target locator to kill the two wraiths that you first encounter after you obtain the weapon. But those two vehicles don't seem to stick together very well, plus they're heavily armored. So I found that at the anti-air tower, a phantom actually drops off two ghosts next to each other that also tend to stick together. Ghosts are also weaker in armor, so it's logically easier to kill them. Now, to get the ghost to show up, we have to wipe out some of these enemies from this wave. I think there's some grunts hiding somewhere. I don't know where. Come on. Come to daddy. Where are you? Yeah, grunty, grunty, grunty. Looking over here. Oh, there you are. You thought you could hide from me. Die, scumbag. Okay, so now the Phantom is on its way with two ghosts attached to it. Now, don't shoot at them the second they get dropped off because the Phantom will get in the way. So I highly recommend just letting them taper just a little bit. All right, there they are. Watch, they're going to drop. Okay, now as soon as they start moving up the hill, target them. And you should be good to go. Now watch the fireworks fly. Oh yeah, that's a lot of things dying at once. Daddy-like. Okay, so that's how you get that achievement very easily. The next one on the list is called Fast Banshees Fast and Low. It means you need to acquire a Banshee in campaign or capture one. Now the easiest mission to do this in is the package... Uh, when you reach the ice cave, there are two banshees lingering around that you could easily capture. Uh, it should also be noted that you can do this on New Alexandria. It's just a little bit more complicated. Come on, unlock. Do it. Make. Uh, he just doesn't know when to shut up. Okay, come on. You don't really need to activate this to get the achievement, but I'm assuming if you're playing this mission, it's to finish it. So if you go up to Halsey's lab, there's a jetpack up there. And so we're going to acquire that. I've got a plasma pistol just in case I need to EMP a Banshee, but you shouldn't have to. Um, at the very least, you should just be using it to get a Banshee's attention. There are two Banshees here that basically fly around most of the battle. If you kill one, another one spawns in. So we need to grab its attention. And they'll, because of your elevation, they'll fly in pretty low, and it's easy to use the jetpack to close the distance. Come on. I know you want to. Let's do this. Come on. Toro, Toro. Okay, so all you got to do is boost up here. They won't try to dodge. And latch on, and there you go. And surprisingly, there's no pilot in the Banshee. Well, it looks like they finally acquired drone technology. All right, so that wasn't so hard either. This next achievement on the list is called Lucky Me. And it means that you need to shoot, well, get a triple kill on enemies. Covenant. Let me start over. Uh, you need to get a triple kill using the jetpack and it can be acquired in campaign or firefight i don't know if it can be acquired in multiplayer or not but i found that if you want to do this in campaign exodus is the easiest mission to do this there is a segment where you use a jetpack to get across the ledges or building hop basically and your marines over here have rocket launchers so we're going to wait here until that banshee shoots a banshee bomb there we go we're going to steal his rocket launcher. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Okay, and the jetpacks are right over here. Now, this, of course, means that you will not be performing the skip that I do in all my guides, but it will get you the achievement. So, we're going to boost over here to this next building. Keep going. Mind the banshees. You, I have been splattered here before, so be a little bit careful. Now, a bunch of grunts and jackals, and I think a couple of brutes, no, I don't think any brutes show up, um, will appear from over here on the left. So, get your rocket launcher ready. There they are. Boost up, and as you do it, get the grunts as they're coming out of the building, and you should get a bunch of them. Easy triple kill, and I died. But I still got the achievement, so fantastic. See how easy that was? Okay, this next one people seem to have trouble with. It's called, if they came to hear me beg, and you have to assassinate an elite um, without dying, well, from a fall that would have killed you. Now watch, you have to get this assassination a certain way or it won't count. 
hold the assassination button, land on top of him, and you have to basically jump on his head for it to count as an achievement. Any other assassination won't allow you to unlock it. And I got this in less than two minutes, so it's actually a lot easier than it looks. And they just keep coming after me. Okay, this last one is called Wake Up Buttercup. And basically, what you need to do is you need to finish this second half of the space battle in under three minutes. You need to destroy the Corvette's uh, engines and escort. And as you can see, what I did was I went under the ship right away and just plowed through all those banshees that were still docked. And I got a uh, killing air off of that, in fact, which is really good for scoring if you're using it. I highly recommend using that method instead of just uh, going for the engines right away. You could go for the engines right away, but it'll slow you down. The banshees will be out and everywhere, and it'll take you a lot longer. And by the way, I am doing all of these achievements on Legendary, so difficulty shouldn't be a problem. Um, this needs to be done on Heroic or Legendary. I don't think the other achievements matter in terms of difficulty. Now, once you've destroyed a fair amount of the... Uh, uh, aerial combat here go ahead and head out here just a little bit and get a fair distance away from the corvette switch to your missiles and when you turn around you should have a pretty clear shot at all four engines now once you destroy all four engines you want to stick close to the savannah because a bunch of seraphs are going to warp in from out of nowhere and a lot of times if you're close to the savannah either a they will flat out splatter themselves against it or b they'll just run straight into their cannons so it's easy to mop them up without any trouble and so we're gonna get this last one can we do it come on there we go okay we got all four so now reinforcements are about to arrive stay close to the savannah and you'll be able to easily mop up these i timed this and it actually took me two minutes and 45 seconds so the achievement is definitely doable without too much trouble it's just about prioritization, so I rec go for the Banshees first, clean up some of the aftermath with the Seraphs, then go for the engines, and then finally when the reinforcements warp in, mop them up as well by sticking close to the Savannah without getting splattered, mind you. We have two more left. And like I said, it's easy. Just You just got to destroy the engines and the escort and you get the achievement. As long as it's under three minutes on Heroic or Legendary. There are a couple of other campaign achievements that I did not go for. Like killing seven MOA and killing an elite zealot. And if you want me to do those, just let me know in the comments. And I will be happy to oblige you with a follow-up episode. I hope that made things a little bit easier for you. This is the Tyrant with Speaking with the Tyrant documentaries brought to you by MMOAttack.com. And as always, thanks for watching. Noble 6, set down immediately on that Corvette's topside landing pad.